Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I secured an internship as a data scientist intern at Artifact. I'm going to share my whole experience, like uh, what, how, how I made my resume cream, how I, what was the whole onboarding process, and what I done, uh, what I, uh, what I done there. Okay, so let's start with this video. Okay, so the first part came up, like how I made my application so much cream to be shortlisted. So uh, I saw a listing and then I saw one take home challenge where the take home challenge was the task given by the company as well as the I read the whole job description very nicely. Okay, so after reading the whole job description and I saw the take home challenge and I and I see and I saw like, okay, we have this challenge and what are the skills are there. So I want to highlight my skill okay so I want to for highlighting one my one of my skill so uh, all the skill which are listed over the job which are listed over the job posting I just uh, uh, integrated all my skills into that task okay what do I mean with this so I completed the, in the listing that that was listed that you should know machine learning you should know uh, NLTK you should know Spacey etc so uh, they're also written TensorFlow high torch at the top but for that that was not a mandatory skill so I thought okay I'm going to highlight all my skills into that task so most of the most of the big most of the applicants I, I think so according to my analysis they have done like they have only made using machine learning but what I've done is to do with machine learning as well as deep learning so uh, they have to uh, either the performance of using deep learning increase because it was a natural language processing task so i they, they have decided to use the machine learning uh, framing it as a supervised or unsupervised learning problem and do the task so i done that using a machine learning showcasing all my tasks there which i can do with supervised learning as well as unsupervised learning i showed my skin machine i'm talking about in machine learning i showed that i can done i can do with supervised as well as unsupervised and then I also showed there uh, what are uh, all the NLTK skills which are listed over there so NLTK pandas uh, scikit learn etc whatever the listed over there I made that and there was also listed that you should know text processing so I made a very good amount of text pre processing I use spacey so everything which was listed over there I done very formatted way so that so that this should this should indicate the recruiter that okay he used this and he's a perfect candidate that he knows everything which was listed over there plus it has the preferred qualifications as well so I made using machine learning for fulfilling the mandatory apply, uh, skills and then I saw okay and the preferred not a mandatory there was a preferred PyTorch TensorFlow etc so I thought <laughs> So I thought, okay, uh, let's uh, let's make one for do using deep learning also. So I used a transfer learning to do the task using uh, hugging face models, and that is she was state of the art model for text classification. And I I done okay. Let's uh, let's let's build one a deep learning uh, using using deep learning. Okay. So I just highlighted my TensorFlow skills over over there, the fine tuning skills, pre trained skills, etc. Over there, and then I was pretty much confident okay I just run my uh, head okay I think that I can be uh, selected by any chance then I saw okay can you held a meeting with me then in the interview then in the interview he we we got to I open my camera on the first without the recruiter asked me so I opened my uh, op op open my camera and then I started talking to him okay so it was just like a conversation one of the tips that I want to give to you is make an interview as a conversation I don't think that that wasn't a technical yeah it, it, it was a technical interview but I just taken as a conversation and I just highlight my skills and he just asked, I asked her introduce yourself and then some techn technical questions then some the questions about the task which are which which was given and some ML loops questions some other other questions which are pretty much pretty much good question to ask as a data, data scientist and I was pretty much amazed to see uh, this kind of person interviewing and I was enjoying a lot my father was sitting over there so I was enjoying a lot having a conversation with him 
and he was also enjoying a, having a conversation in, uh, with him with, with me and actually one of the main tasks is to be so much of uh, f uh, so much keeping in professional thing but you have to be like conversation a good conversation where he interests to talk with you and I interest to talk with him this is the main thing that you have to keep in mind while giving an, an interview okay so after giving the technical interview then he told okay I have to go for another application for interview so he gone and after two days uh, I just emailed me what is the decision so I got a good uh, good thing okay we are we are going to go we'll go with you we're with your candidacy, candidacy at this time but we are facing some legal issues like uh, because I'm under 18 so they resolved all the legal issues in whole one month and every everything then uh, after that I got my letter okay you are you are welcome in artifact and on another day we just started artifact work and it, it is a just an amazing work working at artifact the the work culture the people in the in the in the artifact and they're very very supportive i like the i like the workspace a lot and i think one of the best company startups that i'm working on is artifact and they are very 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 uh, supportive and uh, I, don't, I don't know how much to thank them. And I learned a lot. I, uh, they ha I, I got a new, new of tasks like uh, the industry best practices, etc. Which I will telling you what I do internship in the next video. Okay, so they are very supporting just, just as, just as information. And this was the whole process of getting at Artifact. I'm very much uh, happy to be at Artifact. And I hope that you got some of the hints to apply in your application to make your application so much cream. So thank you for seeing this video. I'll be catching up in the next video. Till then, bye bye.